Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. I'm your host Olivia DeSantos and today we're going to be talking about protecting your sofa or couch from your dog, from damage from your dog. Um, this is going to be a really interesting topic. Before we dive in though, I do want to caution that I am British, so I'm going to call it a sofa. The title might say couch. If you say couch, that is great. I say sofa, so I'm going to say sofa. But before we dive in, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you want to raise happy, healthy and well-behaved dogs, we talk about all things dogs every single week. So hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And let's dive in. So my dog is actually here on the sofa with me. He's down here. You can see him here. He is curled up in a ball because he wants to sleep. So I'm trying not to disturb him too much. But in terms of of our topic today of protecting the sofa from damage from your dog I will be very honest I have not been very good at doing this in my lifetime <laughs> it's not a very easy thing to do but we're going to talk about some methods that could work and some methods that I've also used myself in the description box down below there is an article that goes into more detail and more methods some of the things that I have tried some of the things I haven't tried and just to give you as many ideas as possible but today we're going to talk about five so number one is to have a sofa material a fabric that is resistant to damage so this is a leather sofa and leather sofas leather material in general is very very hardy it's much harder to get lots of damage and scratches over time it will get damaged and scratched over time but it can withstand it for a lot longer than other types of sofas. So if you invest in a sofa fabric that is more resistant to scratching, then you're in better stead in general. The other fabric that I would recommend here is microfiber. Microfiber doesn't show a lot of scratching. Um, it will over time, as I say, but it, it does withstand it quite well. The second method is just to not let your dog on the sofa. Um, Obviously, this is a personal choice. There are many households where dogs are not allowed on the furniture and I completely respect that. I completely applaud you for all that even. Um, obviously, my dog is on the sofa now and he tends to sleep on the sofa, so that's totally fine with us. But if in your household it doesn't work for you, um, then just don't let your dog on the sofa. If you really want to protect that sofa, don't let them on it. Another thing you can do is apply a protective covering. So there are actual uh, coverings for sofas that will cover the entire sofa so that it really does protect it. Some of them are in plastic, which I'm not a huge fan of. Some of them are more like a throw type of material, um, more like a blanketed type of material. But I suppose the con of this is that you don't actually get to see the sofa. So <laughs> unless you really love the covering, like the look of the covering, um, you kind of hiding the beauty of the sofa which tends to be the focal point of your living room right so in that scenario i would say you know either buy a cheap sofa that you don't really like the look of and then buy a covering that you really love the look of so if you're going to go down that route that's what i would do the fourth thing that you can do is keep your dog's nails trimmed. So make sure that you trim your dog's nails regularly. I've done a couple of videos on clipping nails and grinding nails. So whatever method kind of works for you, whatever tools you have, make sure that your dog gets trimmed nails quite regularly so that it doesn't scratch up your sofa. And my fifth and final tip here before my camera dies uh, is to have a throw on the sofa where your dog tends to lay. So maybe not covering the entire sofa, but having like a carpet, I'll show you what we have on the end of our sofa. Also having blankets on the sofa can really help protect it from your dog's scratches. So those are the five methods that I'm going to give you today. If you want to dive into more methods, more ideas, then check out the links down below. And if you like this video, you'll really like this one. Comment down below any methods that you're using to protect your furniture from your dog. I've been Olivia for the Gentle Dog Trainers channel and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.